Hello my fellow Hawks, my name is Vincent with the Discover UMES channel and today we are in the yard about to talk to some students about what they think of res life. We're here in the studio with Marco, the RA in Nuttall Hall and we're we'll going to find out what it takes to be an RA here at UMES. How you doing, Marco? I'm doing wonderful. <laughs> All right, so my first question for you today is, why did you choose to be an RA? I wanted to become an influence on the young men on this campus. I wanted to make an impact somehow. And I knew being an RA in that leadership position, you know, they look up to me like a big brother. Right. And this being your second semester as an RA, do you feel like you've achieved that? Yes, I do. I have. I know I have a relationship with my residents to a point where I can say, pull up your pants, and they will be like, all right, Marco, and they will pull up their pants. Right. So. Okay. What are some of the benefits that come with being an RA? The networking possibilities. You can network with people like uh, Miss Benita Rashaw, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Yashakia Hughes, who is the program coordinator, and you can meet a lot of different other students on the campus. Right. And you never know who is in what or what they do. As a resident assistant, what are some of the things you're required to do work-wise? Um, well, first you have to work 15 hours every week. Um, you're on call at least, it depends on what dorm you work in, but you have to be on call. On call requires you to be the block holder. There is a master block of a building and if, let's say, a student gets locked out or something happens, you have to take care of the situation. There are bulletin boards that you have to accomplish, so there is a little creative side to it going on. You have to plan out your bulletin boards and change them every month. And you have to know your residence names by the third week of school, which for me is the hardest. Right, yeah. I had a hard time with that, too. I still do, actually. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and then, <coughs> Do you find it hard to balance your academic works with um, your RA job? Mm. Actually, that's one of the hardest things to do, to mm. balance out your job with your academics when you know you have to work and finish this bulletin board because it's due at 3 o'clock, but you also have a 4 o'clock test you need to study for. Mm -hmm. So you're going back and forth between studying and doing your bulletin board. What are some of the things you've learned in the program that you feel will benefit you outside college, after college? Um, the number one thing I did learn was time management. Mm -hmm. That's a critical, critical thing that you learn in this program that you have to know. Like basically now my day is planned out from 8 o'clock in the morning all the way to 8 o'clock at night since I have a 7 to 8, 15 class. Mm -hmm. My day is just booked and it's work class, work class, work class. Thank you for joining us, Marco. And now we're going to go out in the yard and talk to our fellow Hawks about what they think about residence life. We're here with Miss Gale, a well-known alum from 1974. How you doing, Miss Gale? I'm doing just fine, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Um, how's how's res life different now than it was in 1974? You're larger. <laughs> <laughs> when I was here, pretty much the oval was it outside of Wacomico and Nuttle Hall. Mm -hmm. um, Murphy Hall was the building for women, and half of Nuttall was for women. And if so, what were their roles? The RA program was really just getting off its feet. Um, I had a good one. Her name was Arlene Jones. Uh, they helped with registration and helped you if you had questions. And uh, the tide of the campus was a little different mm -hmm. because the upperclassmen did guide the freshmen. So not only did you have the RAs who you could go to, you had the other students. Uh, the RAs were the kind of the police of the building, but they were laid back, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you went to them. 
they made sure you had your forms and the things that you needed to do to be processed here. Like I said, you, you had some good leaders in those positions. Okay, well, thank you for joining us, Ms. Gale. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Have you attended any of your RA programs? Yeah, like two weeks ago, one of my RAs threw a dodgeball thing in TARS. It was a good turnout, lots of fun, so it was good to have something to do around campus. You being a sophomore, looking back your freshman year, what are some of the RA programs you attended? Um, well, one of my RAs had a charades game, and they also, like, came out and like told stories of how like you're supposed to act on campus and how everybody's always watching you so you should always act like on your best behavior. For more episodes log on to youtube.com backslash discover UMES. Thanks for joining us.